Today we're going to explore Minnesota music history and the rock star Alice Cooper. What does Alice Cooper have to do with Minnesota music history? Let's find out. Tonight we'll... When Alice Cooper played the St. Paul Civic Center in April of 1978, he was notorious for the shocking theatrics of his stage shows. There was like a whole little vignette movie at the beginning of the concert. He's running, he's running, he's running, he runs right out of the screen on the stage. He goes, ow! Yeah, I was 12, you know, like this is the coolest thing ever. There's a big guillotine on stage. Alice is, he's got his head sticking out of the guillotine. And then somebody comes out and picks up his head. And, but the most shocking part of the concert was still to come. We started playing schools out, and I think it was the encore. The crowd goes crazy. It was at this moment that some malicious Cooper fan triggered a canister of tear gas in the packed auditorium. All this smoke starts pouring out of the right side of the stage. All of a sudden, I noticed 10,000 people running at me. It was terrifying. Security rushed the stage to escort the singer off, and the Civic Center was evacuated. I thought that that's the way concerts went. Crazy things happened, and everybody got tear gassed. The culprit was never found, but there's been so much speculation and varying memories of the incident that a Facebook group was started around it. I met Alice Cooper at an airport in Spain, and I said, did you remember that show at the St. Paul Civic Center? And he immediately went, oh, of course. He's probably done a zillion shows, but he immediately went, oh, you were at that? After the incident, Alice had t-shirts printed up for the band and the road crew, bragging about the 1978 St. Paul tear gas massacre. I should have one of those shirts. I, I'm still, I'm here, I'm living to tell. The Lower Town Line, making Minnesota music history.